Hello everyone. Um, I just saw a post from Rachel Notley asking parents, how well do you trust uh, Jason Kenney's um, plans for kids to go back to school? Well, I'm, I'm not a parent by any means. I'm a pet parent to two cats, but other than that, I've been a caregiver for many years, uh, for all ages, and frankly, uh, as a caregiver and as a person with a disability, uh, with autism and ADHD, I feel that not only is this plan very haphazard, but it is also very unsafe. Um, it's gotten to the point where it has made me really think about things and how Hummingbird as a whole could help each other within the community. Um, I don't know about you parents that are in the group, but I would totally, totally think that if kids were to go back to school and get COVID, that's going to hurt a lot of children, a lot of families, and a lot of teachers. That's going to put a lot of kids with disabilities at risk. So here's what I suggest. And let me know what you think. Um, as a person with a disability and as well as uh, compromised immunities, I have asthma. And uh, frankly, a person with asthma should not be uh, putting themselves into high-risk situ situations, especially if they um, have more chances to contract and die from COVID. So here's what I suggest, because I have to be very careful with who I am with or who I hang out with because of sensory issues, I don't wear a mask. Um, I do if I go to a friend who has immune deficient issues, but other than that, um, for the most part, I pick and choose as to where I go. I pick one store that I go to. I hang out with maybe two friends and my clients, they all have immune deficient disabilities and or disabilities like my own. And what I figure is that the disability adult communities have something to give back and have something to teach others we all have abilities and this would be a good way to um, not only include kids within our group but as well as adults and families and what I highly suggest is that we volunteer our time or help families if they wish to pay us for what we do. Um, I would suggest that uh, parents who choose to keep their kids at home that we offer up our abilities in ways like say if you're good in arts like I am then we teach the kids how to draw or if um, you're good in math you teach the kids trigonometry if you're good at it or if you're good in music and you have an instrument of your own and the kids want to learn ukulele then you teach the kids ukulele um, we all have skill sets for which could easily be taught to children and my um, idea is quite simple. We offer up our skills to teach others. Not only does this lift up your spirits because you're helping someone else in the younger generations, but you as a disability are showing kids with disabilities that there's nothing they can't do as long as they put their mind to it. It gives you good strong uh, confidence, but you're also teaching kids skills. like. With my years in caregiving and um, house cleaning, I think I could teach a kid a few things in life skills, uh, like personal care needs or um, cooking. These are things that kids are going to need when they're older. And sometimes when parents have to go to work, um, these skill sets, these kids could easily learn at home. They don't need to go to school as long as they get their mathematics and their whatever basic skills. What about other skills for handicapped kids or kids with uh, developmental delays that may have a chance to be able to live on their own if they're properly taught those skills? Um, and that's kind of what I was 
thinking along the lines. Uh, I don't know about you, but I'm highly thinking about offering up some of my skill sets. How about you?